Hey folks here. Today's video is gonna be uh, to show you how to replace the blower in your pellet stove. And this is specific to the pellet stove that I purchased at Lowe's. And um, I'll show a, uh, a picture of the serial number um, in a little box here. It might be here. And uh, this, is the, this is the blower. This is what it looks like. Um, I found it online. And I just typed in the uh, model number of my pellet stove and blower um, and it popped up and I was able to find the one that I was specifically looking for. Um, it's real simple to replace. Actually all the components like the, um, the exhaust fan, the, um, the pellet thing that drops the pellet the the auger that's all actually pretty easy to replace so pellet stoves aren't that difficult so this hopefully this video will give you a little confidence where you can actually fix your pellet stove yourself and uh this this one in particular it starts squealing real bad and it's this um this rubber thing here is what actually holds the fan in place and if you pop it out and I damaged mine, and that's one of the reasons I had to replace it, but it was already starting to get loud. Um, you pop this out, and then you see that it, that's actually what that sits in. It sits in this rubber cap. And I greased, I put oil in, in this, and put it back on, and it like squeezes on like a, you know, like a rubber cover. Um, and it worked good for a while, but it was still making some noise. I had ordered a brand new one. It was about $100, just under $100. And it's now perfectly silent and nice. So I've had this pellet stove since 2015. And I've had to replace, this is, this is the, the most recent thing I had to replace. Um, I replaced the auger and I replaced the exhaust fan. And a lot of that was my fault because if you don't keep your pellet stove real clean, um, the ash will build up and then it'll actually get forced through the exhaust fan and it'll screw things up. And one of the little flappers on my exhaust fan actually broke and it was banging around and it sounded horrible. So I hope this video helps and we'll see you in the next video. All right, here's a pellet stove that we purchased at Lowe's probably in 2015 so about eight years ago and I've since replaced the exhaust fan I've replaced the auger motor and I'm about to replace the blower fan so the first thing I did was get this number, I googled this number, and typed in blower fan, and was able to find the proper part, which was this, I ordered it on Amazon, it's about $100. Here's the old one, it's been squealing, making a lot of noise at one point it stopped I was able to get it going again um, but real simple to change out so it's got these two connectors I, I put a marker on this top connector just to show that that was the top so I'm gonna unplug this first before I work all right so I unplugged it no power the only thing holding this thing on, you can see there's a little Phillips screw. And then you have these two connections, so I'll take these off. And I already marked that as the top one, so I know when I put this back.
I got the screw in. It was a little, you have to really tighten it down because the, the hole is little. So it hasn't, um, the screws will tighten that, but it goes in. So here's the one I marked. It's my top one and my bottom one. Okay. And that's it. And I'm gonna vacuum this dust out, try to clean this up a little bit before I put it all back together. <laughs> 